Um, we're here with Steve Wildeby, uh, with DuPont, a clear leader in electronic substrates. Steve, would you like to give us uh, a quick tour of what we can see here at DuPont at the show? Sure, I'd love to, Harry. Thank you. So, in our world, one of the things that's most exciting right now is wearable electronics. What you see here on the mannequin is actually a shirt that can measure oxygen level, heart rate, temperature, among a number of other important biometric variables. What's unique about what we provide for this is we provide the first manufacturing ready solution that can use existing types of manufacturing equipment, uh, existing connector technologies, as well as stretchable washable materials. So these materials will stretch and come back with solid performance throughout. They'll wash to 100 cycles, strong performance on these materials in a pretty exciting space. We see a lot of opportunity in health. Uh, the clear leader, a lot of these substrates need to be transparent, so... Correct, so this is a joint venture between DuPont and a sister company, Tasian Films, and this joint venture actually makes clear substrates, flexible substrates, PET, for industries such as sensors, displays, and photovoltaics. So, you can actually see an example of these types of materials here. These are blood glucose test strips that use both DuPont printed electronics, such as silver, silver chlorides, as well as uh, the PET substrates that our sister company makes. Up here you can see a touch screen where we actually make silver materials that can be printed on ITO and silver nanowire to give you superior performance in a touch screen module and allow you smaller, thinner bezels. And then, oh, Harry? Inks for Print Electronics. A leader for years in the conductive paste and screen printable links. That's right. So when you look at Inks for Printed Electronics, we've got a pretty exciting array of products, ranging from silver conductors through copper through a number of other products in the space. In this case, what we're promoting is our antenna performance. So what you see here is the idea that printed antennas perform almost as well as a traditional etched copper antenna. But they give you additional capabilities, such as the ability to print, for example, on a lower cost substrate to make lighter antennas, more flexible antennas. And when you start to think about the opportunities in electronics today of putting electronics everywhere, these antennas can go into places that today's traditional technologies cannot. Over here, we've actually got a demo of an etched copper antenna and a printed copper antenna side by side streaming high def video. And what you can tell with these laptops is for practical purposes, there's very little difference in performance between these two antennas. You can see it yourself streaming real video straight from a laptop. Great. Final question. Yeah. Um, DuPont aims for printed wearables versus printed electronics. Stretchability becomes key. Is that a topic that you guys are researching intensely? It's one of many. So what we're really looking at is broadening the, ap the application space for printed electronics. You can see that we're doing work for antennas, for stretchable, wearable materials. We're also looking at getting inks into creative spaces with plastics. We're looking at putting um, inks into ceramics, where we can do things like this, which is probably the highest performing high frequency antenna for its size that you'll find using proprietary DuPont design IP, proprietary DuPont manufacturing IP, combined with a proprietary set of materials that have among the lowest loss of materials that could be used in this class. Put them all together and you have an antenna that's hard to beat. So we've got some very exciting things going on in this space. Thank you very much. How are you finding the show so far? So busy? far it's been great. The, as you can see, uh, overwhelmingly busy, a lot of people with a lot of interest and a lot of excitement. We're really feeling good about the show this year. Thank you. Thank you very much.